Good evening, YouTube gang. It's your girl just mo and um I'm really just getting my day started. I still got on what I slept in. Um it is Monday evening and I'm about to have to get ready for work. Almost four o'clock in the afternoon. And I got to go to work at 5, so today, right now, in this moment, is the perfect time for me to prep my solution for tomorrow. I was hoping I can get the prep that I usually always get, but no. This is my prep for tomorrow. I have to drink all of this. It comes with some kind of little flavor packs, too. Let's see what these are. orange lemon and cherry more than likely i'm gonna go with orange the orange flavoring pack drink one eight ounce cup of solution rapidly every 10 minutes did y'all not see my juice challenge yesterday that is not gonna happen i can um i can assure you that one that's not gonna happen all right well let's get this let's get this mix Fill to line on top of bottle. We're just gonna pour this sucker in here. This doesn't even smell like orange, dog. This is about to be disgusting. I don't think this little pack of fake medical Kool-Aid is gonna help me out any. By the way, this is gonna take 50 seconds. Alright guys, start pouring this joint in there. It's just going to be a complete day of freaking fear factor, guys. This faucet makes a lot of noise. Once I fill this up, I'll be right. finally got it filled to the line. I'm not going to shake it too much because this thing is freaking heavy. It says you're supposed to drink eight ounces every 10 minutes. That's dead, bro. Like, that's not going to happen. Uh, it's actually started to smell like orange. So, this is it for today, guys. Oh, snap. This is it for today, guys. So, I'm going to go get ready for work. Uh, you're supposed to prep this the day before, so I will be back with the log tomorrow and let you guys know uh, how this is going to go. What's up, guys? It is August 1st. It's the next day. It's almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm about to start this prep. Alright guys, alright, we about to get this started. It's actually after 4 o'clock, so I was been supposed to start this. Uh... Eight ounces. I measured what eight ounces would be. Ew, bro, this looks so thick. That, this didn't even put a dent in it. 
By the way, it's clear, it's not purple. I don't know about this, guys. I really don't. Like, I really don't want to do this, but... <sighs> I already know what it's going to taste like by the smell. Let's go and kill this stuff. Guys, I just had the second glass and I feel nauseous as crap. Like, that first glass was not the worst. I think it gets worse and worse each time you have to drink it. I feel my stomach bubbling a little bit. Mainly, I just want to throw this joint back up. Uh, guys i'm an hour and a half into this process i'm almost halfway done with the bottom not had quite halfway yet but almost i haven't pooped yet but i did change my location i have moved to the bathroom <sighs> for the most part i just I don't feel like I have to use the bathroom. I feel like I want to throw this crap up everywhere, but I'm trying to pace myself. This is a lot to drink. I've never had out of my two colonoscopies before this one. I've never had to do this prep. Um, I always got Miralax or it was something else, but I forgot what it was called. This one's by far, by far the worst one I've had. And I don't even have to use the bathroom and I'm really cold. And I don't know if it's the house that's cold or just like, <sighs> I'm just really cold right now. <laughs> So y'all stay tuned for more updates. This is wow. I just want this to be over with. So now I'm now two hours in and I am miserable. I just feel really, really nauseous. This crap is so nasty. But I just talked to the pharmacist and he said if like I can get a clear stool, I won't have to drink it all. I'm really hoping that's what happens to me. But as far as going to the bathroom, this crap is not working. And it better start working soon because I'm going to be mad AF if I spent the whole day not eating. And I spent the last half of my day drinking this crap for it not to work. Somebody going to get hurt, bro. It is like 9.30 p.m. The stuff finally started to work at about 8.30. Um, I got half of it left to go. I was supposed to been finish it, but I'm going to try to finish it by 12. I just got my little poopy booty in the tub. I was just feeling disgusting. Just having constant diarrhea just makes you feel like... But I'm about to try to finish it. I'll let you guys know how it go. Y'all, I'm so freaking stoked right now. So I just used the bathroom and it's really disgusting. So I'm not going to show you guys, even though it's like my poop is getting yellow. The color is getting yellow and I have half of my prep left. I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking that. Bro, delete all that like my it's yellow it's like a yellowish clear color so i don't have to drink the rest of it i guess i didn't i wasn't really backed up because like i haven't been eating like stuff that'll make me like you're supposed to be on a low fiber diet before you the week before so i've been on a low fiber diet and like I'm so stoked I don't have to drink the rest of that. Like, oh my god, God is so good. He be looking out. Oh my god. Alright, guys. 
Today's the day. This is probably the earliest I will ever in my life be blog blogging. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 4.47 a.m. 4.47, bro. It's about to take me a little shower, clean my little duty booty. So I don't want nobody be in my booty and it's dirty. Um, yeah, and probably by 5.15 I'll be on my way to the hospital. I went to sleep at like 3 o'clock I think, so I ain't really getting no sleep, so I'm just excited to eat today. No, I'm greedy. Bright and early, guess what's next though? Wawa. Well, this bathroom is definitely nice, it makes me feel comfortable. You know, I saw like a freaking tarantula outside. This is extra nice. It's clean. Good sign. What's poppin' YouTube gang? I had a successful, successful um procedure. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm still a little booked up. My arm hurts like hell. Oh, where they had the IV at. Uh, still got these things on me. They on there pretty good. Um, I had a successful procedure, guys. Man, um, uh, I still got half of my prep left. I d only had to drink half of it by the grace of God. I'm so so happy about that. Uh, everything was good. Everything went very very well. Uh, shout out to everybody who checked on me. Um. I couldn't record because you couldn't have cameras inside, so uh, I'll just tell you guys about it, what I can remember before they put me to sleep. Um, I was sitting in a waiting room for about, I'll say 15 minutes before they called me back, and after they called me back, um, I used the bathroom one more time, then uh, they put me they like got me all hooked up with a bunch of stuff, oxygen in my nose, and I had plugs and screws, whatever, what that stuff coming out of everywhere. Um, I really felt like I was in the movie scene, like about to die. Like I had like oxygen in my nose. I had cords on me on this side, cords, IVs in my arm. It was cold as heck. Like I asked for three blankets. I was so cold. Um, and then a, uh, a different doctor performed my procedure because something had happened to my doctor. He had surgery or something. Uh, and then um, the lady was like, that was going to be the best nap I was ever going to take, which I love the, I know that sounds bad, I love the anesthesia because like I sleep so freaking good. And I always seem to dream when I'm sleeping. <sighs> I always seem to dream when I'm sleeping. Sleeping. Um. Then after I fell asleep, there's I don't remember nothing. Um. After that, uh. After I woke up, I was still a little delusional. I apologized to the nurse because I thought it was one of my coworkers for some reason. Um. I asked her what's the street name for the drug. for the anesthesia like that like it's just like my body was so heavy and like you just sleep so good and so peaceful um uh, that was pretty much it man um and I my dad took me home I've, I effed up some wawa bro I had two turkey hmm <sighs> turkey sausage croissants that I effed up. I was so hungry. The worst part of it all is not being able to eat. But I had that and that was it guys. I got good news. I'm healing good. This time next year I should be in remission if I stick to a good diet. I got pictures of my stuff but I'm not going to show you guys what my insides look like because I feel like that is a little weird. But yeah guys um 
If you guys just like me talking to you about my experiences, let me know. Comment down below. It's your girl, Jess Mo. R F S H Gang Gang.